In this video, I'm looking at interpreting mass spectra. So I'm just going to run through three different mass spectra and just give some top tips on how to answer the questions. So here's the first one. It's the mass spectrum of ethanol. Always a good idea if you know what the structure is and you've just got to interpret the spectrum um, just to draw the displayed formula. So first thing I would say, and it's not going to get us any marks, but just the key peak there, that one furthest to the right, get that identified because that's going to tell you the MR of the molecule. That's the molecular ion peak or M plus for short. So it's at M over Z 46. And of course, we know that ethanol has an MR of 46. So that all ties in. So these extra peaks with um, M over Z values less than the molecular ion peak, these are fragment peaks and they're caused by the high energy electron beam breaking bonds in the molecule and it basically splits apart. So all we've got to do is give the structures for the species causing the peaks at uh, M over Z31, so that's that really tall one there, and M over Z45. So we'll start with this one here, the M over Z31. So the first thing I would be doing is looking at the difference in M over Z values. So 31 to 46, that's a difference of 15. So that's going to be caused by the breaking off of a CH3 group because that's got a mass of 15, 12 plus 3. So obviously if um, CH3 is broken off, then what's left carries a positive charge and causes this peak here. So the fragment peak at M over Z31 formed by loss of 15, i.e. CH3, is due to the CH2OH plus fragment. Whatever you do, don't forget the plus charge. Everything that causes a peak in a mass spectrum has a positive charge. And then the peak at 45, very, very obvious what this is going to be due to. It's a loss of one from the molecular ion peak, and so we've lost a hydrogen. So the one I've lost is this one here. Okay, so moving on to the second one now. So we've got compound D comprises of CH and O, and it's been identified as a secondary alcohol. So the carbon with the OH group on has got two carbons directly attached to it. We've got to identify alcohol D, give the structure for the species causing the fragment peak at M over Z45. Okay, so like we did with the first one, the first thing I'm going to do is give the uh, molecular ion peak. So we've got an MR of D must be 60. So we know that this is a secondary alcohol. So there's only one thing it can be, and that's propan 2 So now we've got the structure. We're going to look at the fragment peak, what's caused this, and again, the difference between this one here and this one here is 15, so we've basically lost one of these methyl groups off the end. So fragment peak at M over Z45 formed by the loss of CH3 group, and so therefore that's due to um, CH3, CHOH, but don't forget the plus sign. Final one, compound J, again comprises of C, H and O. It's been identified as a carboxylic acid. So the mass spectrum, um, a secondary carbocation is causing the peak with the highest or the greatest relative intensity. So that's obviously the tallest peak there. So we know that this is a secondary carbocation. So the C, the C with the plus sign on has got to have two carbons directly attached we've got to suggest the structure for compound J. So again, first thing I'm doing, identify that molecular ion peak, so we know the MR of J is 88. We know it's a carboxylic acid, so best thing to do next is subtract the mass of the carboxylic acid group, which is 45, and that's going to give us the MR of the rest of the molecule. So the rest of the molecule has an MR of 43, 
which surprise surprise is the m over z value for this tall peak here which we know has to be a secondary carbon cation so it's going to have a minimum of three carbons because the c with the plus on has to have two carbons directly attached well if you think about the mass of three carbons that's 36 this is only worth 43 so another seven so it's going to be C3H7 and let's just fit in the fact that it's a secondary carbocation and therefore it's going to be CH3, CH, CH3 plus. So putting it all together now we've got to show the structure of the molecule well it's basically just that with a COH group on it so there it is there.